Hi, hi, April. Welcome to the buffet. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm Pleasure. so excited. So am I. Come in. Okay. So, April, if you'd like to get on the couch. Sure. Head on the cushion. We're going to do a lovely core therapy. Have you had core before? No. No. So, with core therapy, we start off by doing some kinesiology, which is muscle testing, to find out what the body is telling me needs treating. Simply put. Basically, I'm talking to your subconscious. I'm having a little chat with your inner self that you aren't aware of. But if I was to say to you, what are the root of all your problems? You would say, I'd have a guess, but I don't know. But kinesiology can find that out with physical, I mean, maybe even mental issues. So can you raise an arm for me nice and straight? Lovely. Sure. I'm going to push here and you're going to hold up strong and hold. So don't let me push and hold. Okay, and the same with the other side, and hold. Okay, you've got some weakness there. Can you raise a leg? I'm going to push here, you're going to hold up strong, and hold. Okay, same with the other side. I'm going to push, you're going to hold up strong, and hold. Okay, all right, there's something going on, but I'll get to the root of it. Can we raise this arm and this leg together? Just a bit lower than that, yeah? I'm going to push with both and you're going to hold up strong and hold, okay, and hold. Aha, you're strong that side, which is really interesting because both muscle tests separately weren't strong, but when they're together they were. How can okay. that be? And it's your body telling me that this area of your back is okay, it's good, but this area is not because it was weak. So I'm just going to have a little feel with a row of fingers to your sacroiliac and then raising arm and leg together and hold. No? Okay, so I haven't got the right place so I've just anchored you. Just relax, relax. Just going a little bit lower, raising again and hold. Hey! So, so what it is is on your left hand side, lower down on the side of your sacrum. So here, this is you. These, this is your hips. This is your sacrum here. This is your left side. So on the side of your sacrum, on the inner side here, where the back of your iliac crest meets the sacrum, there is a little separation there, okay? And it's intact on the other side because we found that the right side mm -hmm. was strong, but it's just separating a little here, which sometimes can have an effect on the front as well, on the pubis symphysis, because if you like, there are three joints in the, the pelvic girdle, two at the back, one at the front. So I'll check that one out as well. Okay. okay. Okay, so that was good. Let's have a look at the pelvis while I'm here. So just looking at your posture. You're higher on this side, on your right. Ribs are level. Pelvis is actually level, interestingly. Knees are good. So, no, this ankle is slightly dropped. So left ankle, right shoulder. So I'm just going to have a look at the pelvis and see what the kinesiology tests tell me. Raising an arm, I'm going to push and hold. That's good. So left iliac was good. And hold. And try that one again. And hold. No. Okay, so right isn't. I'll look at that. And again. And hold. No. Okay, so it's slightly twisted. And hold. All right, that side. So it's twisted down. Let's see what it's doing here and hold. Ah, that's good. Okay, so it's intact. 
Can you put two fingers on your pubis symphysis bone, which is that hard bone, dead centre, quite low down, two fingers strongly on it, raising this arm again. I'm going to push here and hold. Nice, okay, so it's intact, that's a really good sign. this leg and this arm together at the sure. same time. Okay, I'm going to push, you're going to hold. Can you just put your head back in the centre? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to push, you're going to hold and hold. No? Okay, mm -hmm. let's try the other side and hold. No, okay, so there'll be a reason for that. Can you put two fingers there for me? Two fingers there, lovely. And can you raise this arm again and this leg? and hold. Oh, strong. Okay. So because you're anchoring your jaw, which is the TMJ, the temporomandibular joint, then that muscle test went strong. Right. Can you put these fingers, the same two fingers, but on this side of the jaw? So these fingers mm, on that here. side of the jaw. Yeah, perfect. In that jaw hinge there, just mm -hmm. below the cheekbone. Yes. And then this arm again, and this leg again, and hold. Brilliant. There is no movement. That's so easy for you. So when you're supporting both sides, both of your, what we call a contralateral test, goes strong. Now we need to test with the other arm. So can you test with this arm on this side of the jaw? Yes. Mm -hmm. And arm and leg. Hold. Yay, strong. And then this arm, no, no, here. Sorry, this arm over here. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And hold. <laughs> wow, all four of them. So um, the jaw hinge is responsible for a lot that can go wrong in the body. It's connected to the neck, so it can affect the neck. And if the neck is out, the pelvis will be out of alignment. So I'm going to just have a little feel of your jaw hinge and sure. see what it's telling me. Sure. So. Feeling into that jaw hinge, the TMJ. That's it, letting it go. Feeling the connection. And becoming aware of how the jaw feels. This is the mandible bone, the bone that wraps around underneath our mouth and the jaw, the chin, all the way up to the cheekbone on the sides. So letting it go, letting it go, releasing any clamping, any tightness, any grinding. I've just got my phenol muscles of the base of the thumbs. Ah, so it, oh, it's moving now. So what I'm feeling is an energetic, slow, therapeutic sensation. It feels like there is a slow unwinding. If I could take my hands off, I'd be able to display what I'm feeling, maybe afterwards. There's definitely this lovely feeling that the energy of this area is, is probably the Vishuddhi chakra because it's right in the throat here, near, near this area. And sometimes with this energetic work, which is a, a type of TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, called Qigong, Sometimes you may see colours behind your closed eyelids. And because I'm in the area near the throat and near the third eye, it could be 
blues or turquoises or purples. So now I'm sensing that the left is tighter than the right, the, the right has released. So just with that warmth of the muscle against the jaw, releasing that tension, letting it go. That's good, swallowing really helps too. Sometimes it produces a yawn and that really helps. Oh, I feel so much better already. So now we've done the TMJ, I'm going to retest your contralateral, which I think might be strong now. Let's have a look. So this arm and this leg and hold. Okay, not brilliant, it's better though. And then this arm and this leg and hold. Really strong. I mean, I can tell yeah. there's just no effort for you. So there's something, one of the joints here and one of the joints here that is saying to me it needs attention. So let's have a look at the shoulder. Can you raise this arm for me on its own and hold? Okay, not great. Elbow and hold. That's good. Wrist and hold. Fine. Left hip and hold. Good. And left knee and hold. Nope. Oh, our knee's coming up. Ankle and hold. <laughs> Ankle is good. Right, so let's look at this shoulder first of all. Can you just rest that arm there, raising this arm up again and hold, good. And then arm to here and hold, good. And then arm next to your ear uh -huh. yeah. and hold, lovely. And then arm up into the air in front of you and hold, good. And then turning your arm round and hold. No effort. So that's with your thumb up. So there's something you're doing with your arm in front of you. It's not up here, but in front of you with the thumb up. It's not this way around, but this way. It's normally something like shutting a cupboard door or a door to a room, car door or dog lead. Quite often I get a lot of clients with a very strong dog. So I don't know, something like that. Knee came up. Give me this arm and hold, fine. So it's not twisted that way. And hold, lovely. Not twisted at all. And hold, okay. So it's on the outside of the knee here. And hold, good. Inside is fine, we're just checking the lymph node. And hold, no, okay, so lymph node as well. So I feel like you have done something to your knee where the lymph is raised and it's trying to drain the lymph away from the outside of the knee back to the lymph node at the back of the knee. So I'll treat it. I'm not sure what it is, but um, sometimes we're not even aware before a joint or an area of the body has a problem, it might be raised with things like lymph and white blood cells, or it might even be swollen a little. We're not even aware until it starts giving us pain. But hopefully we're before that stage and I've found it before it's a problem, but I'll still treat it. And I'm going to treat the shoulder. Right, next thing I want to know about, because on your consultation form, you mentioned headaches. Yes. And they come monthly. Yes. Is it with a cycle? No, not really. I think maybe when I'm too stressed or not eating properly, not drinking enough water. Okay. So it's not necessarily the same day every month? No. No, it's different. It's random. And what type of headache is it? Is it uh, across the eyes? Yeah, I think it's more here on the forehead and mostly on the right side. Okay. Yeah. Have you had an eye test? An eye test? 
No, I had the surgery in 2016, I think. Okay. Yeah, so I, yeah. Surgery to do what? Uh, because I had glasses for so long and right. I didn't want to wear them anymore. So okay. that's why I had a LASIK plus oh, surgery. Yeah. Yeah, I also had astigmatism. Oh, did you? So they corrected uh, I didn't know this they, one too. I didn't know they could correct astigmatism. Yeah, they did. It's interesting because um, you didn't put that on your form. I'm sorry. Which, it, which is fine. <laughs> but in the reflexology earlier, I found that both eyes were really solid. It felt that on the feet, the reflex points, they just felt really static and there was no movement in them. And we worked on them and it really yeah. got better. So I'm hoping that will help your eyes. Um, I know that they probably feel fine, but they're probably still recovering from surgery. Probably. So sometimes I do feel like a pressure or something in my eyes. Oh. Lately, not all the time. Okay. But sometimes this can come from the neck as well, because actually the neck is very close to the eye, the very top of the neck is very close to the eyes, the, the C1, the top vertebra. So I will be giving you a neck release at the end of this core therapy. Perfect. And that will also help. But I'm also going to, I think I'm going to work on your sphenoid bone. In fact, we're going to test it. The sphenoid is the bone that houses the eyes. It's got the eye sockets within it and it goes okay. from here to here, temple Good. to tem temple. So I will be doing that. But before that, how's your stomach? Um, how's your digestion? It's good, I think normal, but lately I didn't eat so healthy, let's say. It's like I didn't have three meals like I should, maybe just one or two, I skip the meals. So I think that's why sometimes I have cramps or something okay. lately. Okay, all right. Can I have a little feel of your stomach? Is that sure. okay? Sure. Are you right if I just move yes. your clothing? Okay. Sorry, my hands are chilly. Mm, that's fine. <laughs> You're nice and warm. That's fine. You're on a heated bed though. Exactly. So I've got the hip point here and your umbilicus, your navel here, and halfway between the two here in a diagonal line, just underneath here, around about, is the ICV, the iliosacral valve. And this area is responsible for clearing congestion from the small intestine to the colon, the large intestine. So I'm just having a little feel what this part of the body is telling me. You feel okay? Yeah, I just feel it maybe a little bit tender. Mm -hmm. it, it, it feels quite intrusive, doesn't yeah. it? Like deep. Can you put two fingers where my fingers are here? Yeah. And then give me a straight arm. Okay. Up here. Oh. And I'm going to push, you're going to hold up and hold. Okay, little bit shaky, you can release now. So I feel that I want to release this ICV for you. So I'm just feeling into the tummy. I've got two thumbs, three nice deep breaths. And again. That's normal. You can bend your knees if that helps. And then I'm just massaging it. Are you okay? Yes. Hmm, a bit sore. So that probably means that this area needed that to happen. And I'm, I can feel, it's right under my thumb now. I can feel where the pain is. So I'm just going to give it a little chigong. <laughs> Directing that energy between my hands. And I'm visualising the ICV letting go, letting go, re 
releasing its grip, releasing spasm. So when you're home in the shower, you can release this ICV yourself. And so it is halfway between the hip bone here and the navel in this diagonal line. It's about halfway, just underneath. And get to know it, be its friend. So don't go in too firm that it's going to hurt you, but just do the Im right amount of pressure that mm -hmm. will release that in the correct direction. So you always want to be pushing it down and outwards towards okay. the ICV. If you could do it every day, your stomach and your digestion would be so much better. Every day? Every day in the shower. Okay. I mean, it's just one movement. Exactly. Yeah. It's, okay. it, it takes like 10 seconds. Okay, yeah. I, I will try. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it, it would make a big difference because of the cramps that you're getting. Okay, so we're going to retest it now. So can you put two fingers back here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me this straight arm again and hold. Hey. It's much better. Fine. And have a little feel yourself. Does it feel better now where I... Yeah. Go go deeper. Yeah, I don't feel the so much pressure like yeah. before. Yeah, great. Good. Now I'm going to treat the knee, the shoulder, headaches, sacrum that came up right at the start. But I think I'm happy for you to turn over now. feel of the spine so it was the left sacroiliac joint that was out of alignment earlier there was a little separation there so that was the other side which I'll come to just pushing down on the sacrum and this movement is called tweenar which is a Chinese TCM technique to help soften and move the spine, which then creates flow, warmth and chi through the whole body. So we've got some tightness here. You can probably feel that, April, can you? Yes. It's interesting, the rest of the spine is moving really well. Lumbar, lower thoracics. Oh, yeah, it just starts to go tight here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can feel that. And then mid thoracics here, so that's about <clears throat> T8, maybe T9. Yeah, I'm quite tight. And then it goes loose again up here. Fascinating. Uh, the neck, I will work on far more later on. Then into the shoulder the scapulae and the fascia around it. You okay? Yes. Is this feeling all right? Yes, it is wonderful. This is the side that wasn't happy earlier. I can feel it. It's mm -hmm. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, quite often we're tense here because of over tight glute maxes, and that will have an effect on the neck and vice versa. So, if the neck is out of alignment, then the glute maxes will be as well. They'll need some, some love and TLC, some repatterning to make them soften. 
and then feeling into the sacrum itself, pushing right on top of it, and the edge. And the lumbar, lovely rocking, beautiful. Tight here, but it is coming better. Oh yeah, you do feel warm. Ow. 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 <laughs> so that yeah feels dense. Mm, it feels really tight here. Yeah. So we're going to open up these vertebra here by doing a wing stretch. Just let your arm go. Floppy, floppy. And let it go, nice and heavy. Loose, loose, beautiful. Okay, and loose again, releasing it. Lovely, okay. Lovely, so picking up that scapula circling it just loosen it again that's it and then letting it stretch nice and rosy now and then bringing the shoulder down while pushing the fascia up right that will help loosen these vertebrae here we'll do the same this side much better. And loose. A bit better. Working all the way down to the coccyx. So the fact that these hips are moving so well will also help the rest of the back. Eventually that movement and softness will reverberate all the way up the spine. It's definitely helping the sacrum and the lumbar the lower thoracics, yeah, it's tight from here upwards. Mm Okay, I'm going to spend more time here. So this is rocking each vertebra left to right and down and back. Mm. You okay? Yeah, it's more painful on the left side. I can feel that. It starts about here, doesn't it? It's about bra line. Mm -hmm. Is it too much? No. I 
think this time was better. No, that's good. Mm, still a bit tight down here. But I'm really pleased about this part of the spine. That's good. Well, you've got nice and rosy now. That's a really good sign. Because blood flow is all about chi and life. And if there's blood flow, that's good. There's health. Lovely. Oh, that is so much better. Wonderful. Okay. So pushing into the ankle, the kidney point, and the acupressure point, bringing the foot right out and thus raising the opposite hip. Lovely, really good. And the apple is being nice and relaxed, letting the energy flow, bouncing that hip, beautiful. Rotating the toe to release any pressure on the neck. Bouncing that shoulder down, that toe pad, and then down the thyroid, reflex point, and from the kidney point all the way down to flush out. Releasing the foot. Circling that shoulder area, separating it from the rest of the foot. Into the kidney, give an acupressure point. Holding, pushing in, locking, tilting out. Oh, it's tight to this side. Okay, letting go, letting go, letting the buttocks go, letting the hamstrings and knees. Lovely, that's good. Letting it go. And release it. And I'm just going to do a double leg repatterning. Nice, beautiful, beautiful and trusting. And down. Strong energy balancing the sacral flow. cerebral spinal fluid pulse up and down the spine Again, bringing all these colours seen behind closed eyelids. More light clear colours of red and orange, but many can be seen as the rebalancing occurs.
top and bottom of the spine. Pulling that release of energy from the sacrum up the whole spinal column. Passing the chakras of the Kundalini line of energies up into the head. And then release. Oh, left ankle is looking. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. to treat the left outside of the knee. A bit sore there? Um, no, not really. Good, okay. movement and let's look at this shoulder doing an arm repatterning I can't tell if it's your stomach or mine now <laughs> I think it's both <laughs> an orchestra both sides. Oh, clicky. Elbow. Yeah. Oh, get my fingers into there. Yep. That's it. Lovely. Oh, elbow stop clicking. Oh, that is like wrist and elbow. Oh, okay. We'll get rid of that. Oh, still clicking. Gosh. Give it some tweener. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> this has me, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers in a row. That's it, let go, let go, let go. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm feeling into the very base of the cranium, the occiput. There should be a nice, if you like, a gap there before the C1, but this feels really tight, like they're touching. So I'm going to create some space which will help any potential headaches. And then bouncing the side of the vertebra from the left down to the right, moving each one and then moving into each spinal process. Yeah, this can feel quite sore, especially if you haven't had it done before. Mm. So. So letting go, letting go, letting the whole weight of the head just drop down to the couch, let it go, so that the spinal process can turn. Yeah. Yeah, 
It's really sore, isn't it? I, I have it done yeah. to myself. I know what it's like. But without this, you know, if the neck can't turn properly, then everything that the neck houses, the circulation and lymph, all the glands, they're coming up nice and heavy, heavy, heavy. I've got you. A row of fingers under the occiput, letting your head tilt all the way back. Beautiful, keep it going, heavy, heavy, heavy. And this allows some space under the occiput and at the top of the spine so that the circulation and all the lymph can work properly, allowing a clear head. Letting it go heavy, 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 and then a neck stretch. Mm, can be sore. And then pushing one shoulder down, hope, hoping it's going to bounce back with each push, and then bringing the head around and away from that shoulder quite strongly. Same the other side. Picking up the trapezius, giving them some softness and bringing the cushion back. I'm just going to feel into that sphenoid because this is the area that could be causing the headaches. Tuning into a very deep energy instantly. It feels so good. I can feel the vibration and resonance go deeply between my hands. So it feels like it's massaging the eyes and the bone that contains the orbital spheres. In between my hands, that beautiful area is softening and relaxing. Another lovely warmth there as well. Mm -hmm. I've opened the window and I can hear my little waterfall yes. outside. It's pretty. Sounds beautiful. So relaxing. Okay. Taking three deep breaths and stretching through fingers and toes, palms and soles, and turning into wrists and ankles and shoulders, rolling them one way and the other, seeing how they respond, and then using your arms for a whole body stretch. Feeling good? Very good. So I'm just going to retest a couple of things that weren't happy at the start when we did those first kinesiology tests. Perfect. Can I have this arm and this leg? Mm -hmm. And hold. Wonderful. So easy. I can tell you, you, you it's not an effort for you at all. And can we bring this arm up straight in front of you with the thumb up? And this arm up for me so I can test. I'm going to push here and hold. Fine. And that was the one that failed earlier. You can put that down. Then I'm going to test the outside of the left knee. Arm up again and hold. Lovely. Easy. So good. And a couple of hip ones and then we're done. So, right aces and Hold, lovely. And a twist. And hold. Fine. Absolutely fine. So you're all aligned. Everything's working together as a team. And you should feel better when you're simply standing or walking. 
everything you're doing should just feel right. Mm -hmm. You feel good? Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, absolute pleasure. Thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs>